everyone. Today I wanted to walk you through my sixth makeup drawer and this is my smaller eyeshadows. It's one of two drawers that I have of smaller eyeshadows and this is in beiges and creams and more neutral colors. The second drawer is the colors and this is the neutral ones. I have another drawer I'll get to later that is my palette. I am going to go through fairly quickly on all of this because there is a lot that I've got in this drawer. It may look disorganized, but I really truly do know where everything is. So starting at the little tray at the front, I have all of these eye pencils, including a Jordana Scandal Eyes. These are what I usually use as a base or possibly in my outer V here, I do some of these pencils. Um, once in a while, I love using them as an accent right at the front of my eye. I would say the NYX are my least favorite. I love the Essence and the Jordana are probably my favorite, believe it or not. Also in this front drawer, I have three loose pigments from LA Colors. I have to think if I'm going to use these or not. I bought these be to mix with oil and then they go on either as a highlight, as a shimmer or as a body oil and I've never done that. So I either need to get my act together and do it or part with these. And the final thing that I have in the front is the L'Oreal Infallible Shadows. Absolutely love every single one of these. If you don't have them, get Amber Rush. Love that shadow. These are gorgeous. They're pigmented. They stay on all day. They are fabulous just to put a swipe of color on your eye, not have it budge. They're great if you're going to the beach, if you have humidity. Love the L'Oreal Infallibles. Next, going to the tray down on the left hand side of this drawer, I have four of these e.l.f. baked eyeshadows. I am not thrilled with these. I'm going to give them another chance and then see if I'm going to keep these or not. These are not my favorite, but maybe I have not given them enough of a chance. So I'm going to revisit these. Next, I have a NYX eyeshadow that I really enjoy and a Jane eyeshadow in Acacia that has some shimmer and I really love that one as well. From Revolution Makeup where I get my palettes that you're going to see, I also got this rose gold pigment palette that is like a leaf flake palette uh, um, consistency and then you use it with this liquid eyes primer and it is bright it is not for the shy it is very very um, glittery bright bold gold so I'm not sure about this maybe for Christmas or something I have three older than the hill shadows from Jane Cosmetics from a lifetime ago when they used to be dirt cheap in Walgreens. Love these. I've used up a fourth one of the, these a while ago, but these are a beautiful product. Just wish they hadn't gone all expensive on us. The last couple items I have is a NYX blush in taupe that my friend Kristen Game says is absolutely beautiful. I think she said, Kristen, help me out. Is it as a contour? I think that's what she said. So I have to give that a try. Um, hard candy piece. Love this product. Beautiful colors. And then finally, I have many of the Jordana um, powders. And I use this not only as an eyeshadow, but I sometimes use this as an eyebrow powder. And then in this drawer, I also have three of the NYX single shadows. Love these wonderful pigmentation. These are really, really nice, no matter what color you get them in. Moving on to the middle drawer, I have my e.l.f. cream product. Absolutely love these smudge pots that they have. These are gorgeous. They go on beautifully. Again, they seem to be last all day. Almost waterproof, I would say. I mean, great for swimming. These are phenomenal products. Absolutely love them. I also have two of their long lustrous lasting eyeshadow, which I think are very nice. Not as nice as the smudge pots, but they're still very nice. And then finally, I have two of their cream eyeshadows, one in a light brown and one in a darker brown. And these are okay. I don't recommend them as much as I do the smudge pots. For a brow highlight color that I'm not using, I'm using up my Wet n Wild creme brulee. This one, I don't know who it's by and it's called Linen. It is very nice so it's not quite as white as it looks when it goes on the brow. So I really like that but like I said I'm using up my creme brulee right now. And then finally in the back of that tray is my four color tattoos. Really enjoying these. I especially love the limited edition one in Caramel Cool. That is a gorgeous color. I put a swipe of NYC Sunny on 
the crease and then put this all over the lid and it's beautiful. Starting on the little tray on the right hand side of the drawer is my trio eyeshadows in Wet n Wild and NYC. Love all of these. Now the NYC are not as pigmented which could be a plus if you were a newer person to eyeshadows or you don't want that kind of intense pigmentation that you've got to be very careful and respectful of. The favorites I'm going to list are all in the wet and wilds which are I'm getting sunburned, knock on wood, walking on eggshells, sweet as candy, and Egyptian sands. These ones are my go-to's. I love them so much. Working my way around the edge now, <laughs> we're on the home stretch. I have a couple physicians formulas. I don't use these very often. As you can see, this one's been smashed and put back together. They're just okay. They're nothing that I would repurchase. Uh, same with these cream shadows, and I don't even know who these are by. I want to say L'Oreal or CoverGirl. If anybody knows, let me know, and if I can read it on here, on this rip label that's disappeared, I will let you know. I did use them quite a bit at one time, as you can see, especially on the browns, but I just haven't used them as much, so I either need to rediscover them or get rid of them. I have a bunch of Wet n Wild singles, and unfortunately this one's broken, but I think it's been discontinued, so until I can get some backups, I'm not gonna replace, or not gonna throw this one away. Nutty, which is a favorite of mine. Two Christmas colors that I use are the silver and the gold. Absolutely love those. This Maybelline Chic Naturals, it's okay. It's kind of powdery. Uh, this e.l.f. single shadow, love it, it's beautiful. And then uh, the Maybelline Linen, absolutely love this for a transition uh, brow color, beautiful. The other one that I have in the Maybelline that's actually in my purse is the same Maybelline in Champagne. I love that color. I use it on the inner corner for a little pop of just shimmery. I, that's one of my absolute favorites. I have three of these individual eye palettes of the NYC, Smoky Blues, Central Park, and Smoky Charcoals. They're very, very nice. I need to rediscover them. This is Col CoverGirl Golden Sunrise. This is a beautiful color, believe it or not. Emily Noel said, put it on your crease. Never would have thought it for that. Beautiful. A CoverGirl Neutrals palette in Country Roads. Very, very neutral, very, very soft. Uh, what I prefer more is this Physicians Formula uh, Neutrals. This one is the Canyon Classics, and of course it's all matte. And then finally, last but not least, is my NYC Sunny. I didn't care for this as a bronzer with my complexion. It came off very orange. What I love it for is uh, crease transition color. There is times when I use this every single day in my crease, and I don't think I've even put a dent in it. It is a really, really nice transition color. So that is my first of my two eyeshadow drawers. I hope that you maybe picked something up or saw some that intrigued you. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll talk to you next time.